I've been doing a ton of media around the UAW strike and people asking how long is the strike going to go. There are two things you need to remember when we talk about strikes. The first thing is a company's ability to withstand a strike from an economic standpoint. And the second factor is a union's ability to withstand a strike from an economic standpoint. Because for the union perspective, when the union members are out on strike, under the National Labor Relations Act, they're not getting paid by the company. And right now they're utilizing union strike funds. It's going to go on as long as both sides are unwilling to come to terms at least to meet each other halfway in the middle in terms of their economic asking. The union is asking for, they ask for a significant pay raise, they're asking for changes to the pension plan, in addition to the fact that the union is reading the mental math and they're looking across the field recognizing that the big three are going to be moving to electric vehicles. They want to make sure that they can assure their members that they're going to have jobs when this happens. Companies look at it from a cost-benefit analysis. We want to meet you halfway, but there is absolutely no way that we can give in to the full economic demands of the union because we can't afford it. They want to make sure that what they do right now makes sense. So until both sides can come to an agreement on what makes sense economically, we are going to be in strike hell for as long as that's going to happen.